thanks for joining us today on the session we've explained everything in Jamf, tools for IT and the classroom. My name is Jayesh and I'm a solution partner manager here at Jamf and I'm pleased to be joined by Anastasia from Explain Everything. The Jamf marketplace is our central location for all the integrations, configurations and deployment guides that work with Jamf to make life easier for Apple admins. It was launched during JNAC in 2017, so we're five years old today. We now have over 250 listings uh, with over 220 reviews from users of the marketplace. The URL is just marketplace.jamf.com and you can learn more about all the integrations, deployments and configurations that we have there. Additionally, you'll see further information from Explain Everything on the marketplace too. Uh, without further ado, I'd like to hand over to my colleague Anastasia that will be able to take you through the session today. Hi everyone, and uh, yeah, uh, thanks so much for that um, for the introduction, Jayesh. And yeah, as mentioned at the beginning, I'm Anastasia Prockner. I am the online instruction specialist at Explain Everything, and I am excited to be here to tell you all about how our software can be used together to do what EdTech should do. So reduce complexity for teachers, and give students the freedom to be as creative as they want at the same time. I have a pretty cool demo. Um, it's, it's a little bit long, but I wanted to kind of walk you through how Explain Everything works. So I have that planned in a couple of slides so I could do what Explain Everything pledges to do, which is, you know, show, don't tell. Um, but first, I'd just like to open with a couple of words on what is Explain Everything Whiteboard for people who may not know. Um, so yeah, so Explain Everything Whiteboard is a recordable digital whiteboard that works in any teaching scenario. We have three main use cases that can be done separately or basically combined and used any way the teacher or student likes. And those are like live teaching or live instruction, collaboration and recording videos, which is the original explain everything use case, interestingly. Um, explain everything because of this flexibility um, is perfect for any teaching scenario. So remote, um, in the brick and mortar classroom or basically anywhere, you know, in between on that hybrid spectrum. Um, Explain Everything makes it incredibly easy for everyone to create, and this is something that we really want to drive home. Um, we're seeing so many teachers doing such inspiring work um, in the classroom, building relevant, relatable learning materials, what's important with their students and in real time during the lessons. So this is super cool, and of course we all know that relevance means engagement, and I'm going to try to show you in just a couple of minutes with that demo how that works. Um, Explain Everything has an expansive tool set, multiple sharing options, um, and cloud storage that makes projects available from anywhere and on any device. Explain Everything is also highly customizable, so you know the toolbar, the sharing options, um, as I mentioned, um, also privacy settings, so schools and teachers can really tailor the experience to their needs and requirements and make it exactly what they need to be. So without further ado, Let's move on to our second slide here and talk about the benefits that Explain Everything offers teachers. We're going to start with teachers and then we're going to move on to students. So something that's really important, I think, is how many media formats Explain Everything supports. So from something as basic as adding slides to something as advanced as 3D objects, um, also, you know, drag and drop, right, which is an iOS um, exclusive feature. But these are all different ways that teachers can take content from wherever they want to create their own materials, as I mentioned before, in real time from scratch. Any digital object pretty much is one that you can add to the canvas. And that's something that we really see teachers and students um, using and enjoying very much. You can add um, handwritten annotations, sticky notes, um, or just any kind of real time input. This really brings the projects to life and again encourages engagement regardless of whether you're, you know, um, in the classroom using an Apple TV or remotely via any, you know, um, any conferencing solution. Explain Everything's live presentation and recording features. Let teachers provide instruction um, both synchronously and asynchronously. So, you know, different um, types of instruction work in different contexts. Um, and also student-made explainer videos. I can definitely um, not forget to mention those because not only do they turn students into bona fide content creators, which so many students absolutely love, but it also give, gives teachers this unique insight into the thought process behind um, behind these videos, like how a student came to a certain conclusion. And that's something that just couldn't be done any other way. Um, of course, we also have numerous integrations with the most popular um, learning management systems or LMSs, 
And this means that, you know, sharing materials and assignments really just takes a couple of moments. So in a nutshell, that's what Explain Everything offers teachers. Let's move on to students real quick. So Explain Everything um, offers students limitless ways of expressing themselves and sharing their creations. So kind of coming back to all of those media formats I mentioned, 3D objects, etc. There are so many different ways that students can express their thinking, so many different um, objects they can use to build their projects. The canvas is infinite, you know, the sky's the limit, right? Of course, um, using up-to-date relevant technology in the classroom gets students' attention and holds their interest. And um, in a moment, I'm going to show you an example of an ADE who actually um, creates these materials on the fly, as I mentioned, explain everything, makes that quite easy in real time right there with his students and they love it. You'll see that in just one second. And, you know, last but not least, Explain Everything group projects also help students build these valuable both remote and, you know, group work skills. And these are skills that will continue to be useful to them their entire lives, regardless of which career they, um, they end up pursuing. So without further ado, I'd like to move on to this demo that I've prepared here that goes through the three main Explain Everything use cases I talked about. So, you know, live teaching or live instruction, um, collaboration, and of course, recording. And also at the very end, I, pre I prepared a short little demo of how easy it is to create materials from scratch and explain everything. So what I want to do is, as I said, show and not tell all of the, uh, all of the different things that I've talked about. So let's move on to that. I'll walk you through it. Here goes. So the first one I talked about here is live teaching. And something that's really important to a lot of teachers in live teaching is the ability to actually add a live video of yourself to the canvas. This is especially, of course, important in remote teaching. It makes things that much more personal. And as you can see, the students can see their teacher while the teacher is teaching the lesson. And another thing that's super cool is how easy it is to share and explain everything. So all you have to do is tap the share button and then you can live broadcast to any conferencing solution or you can simply screen mirror as you saw me do a second ago and it will appear on your, you know, your Apple TV um, immediately. Let's take a look at the tools that help teachers in live teaching. So here we can see the laser pointer. This one is actually a lightsaber. We have 12 different ones to choose from. And as you can see, you can also bring up a live browser to your Canvas. So say a student asks you a question that you don't really know the answer to, no problem. This is one that actually kind of blows people's minds and it definitely blew mine when I started working at Explain Everything. You can look up whatever you want, scroll, click, click around, whatever, resize it, move it around your canvas. And if you decide that it takes up too much room, then you can just get rid of it or you can push it off to the side and use it again later. Um, we also have several different layouts. This one is the dedicated presenter layout, which, as you can see, really reduces that toolbar and kind of takes away a whole bunch of the potentially distracting buttons and leaves you with tools that you could use to present. So of course, once again, out comes that laser pointer. And then we also have, you know, um, the pen tool or pencil, depending on what you, um, what you prefer. And different things uh, like Zoom, for example, if you wanted to zoom in real close to show your students um, what you're talking about, then of course you have that. And once you're done, all you have to do is switch back to the regular layout. And that's that. Um, the second one is collaboration, and what's important, it can be synchronous or asynchronous. In Explain Everything, um, when you start with a local project, it's super, super easy to transform it into a cloud project. All I did was tap Invite in the top right-hand corner, and within a matter of seconds, what happens is this project is moved to the cloud, and it's now accessible to you um, as long as you're logged in and as long as you have internet from pretty much any device, so that's super convenient. And once you're inside this cloud project, you can see that the invite button has turned to a code. And this code can be shared. It can also be shared as a link to anyone that you like. And anyone who uses that code or link will enter this project with you and will be able to edit the project with you in real time. So, of course, as you can imagine, um, any kind of you know group activity. We also recently got a patent for a collaborative <laughs> real-time group recording. So if your students even wanted to record something together, being in collaborative mode, they could do that. Um, they can do anything they want in the default setting, which is open collaboration. 
as you can see here, what they could do if you had, say, five kids in this project is you could give every kid a different country and have them add their, um, their two cents to the canvas. So yeah, group projects work best with like eight to 10 participants, which kind of goes hand in hand with research that, show that shows that group work is actually best when there's about eight people. So you could have however many um, different students in this project at the same time, each of them adding um, you know, their input to the canvas, writing, adding uh, photos. They could also turn their microphones on and talk to each other in real time. You see that little microphone at the bottom there. They could um, turn it on and talk to each other in real time. So Explain Everything, as I mentioned, is very highly customizable. So if you only want to give your students access to certain tools, you can also um, you know, edit the participants interface, which is what you see me doing right here. So if you only wanted them to say, be able to, I don't know, write um, and add pictures, then you could just leave them with those two functionalities, depending on, you know, how much trust you have uh, for your students or, you know, if you don't want them to be distracted or whatever the case may be, you can edit that toolbar. Teachers really like this because, you know, sometimes you ask your students to do something and they start doing something else. This way you can control exactly what they, what they can and can't do. Um, moving on to privacy settings. Of course, this is super um, important to parents, teachers, schools. So as you can see here, the privacy settings are quite um, specific. Um, the default setting is anyone with the link can edit, but if you wanted to change it only to anyone within your organization, like your, your school, or only specified people, then you could, um, you could do that as well. And then you could choose can edit, can download. I think there are nine in total, nine different, uh, nine different settings. And for example, teachers like to, to do this if they want to share a project only with one student to kind of have like a one to one tutoring session. So that kind of gives the student sometimes the privacy that they need to feel, you know, confident enough to ask questions that maybe they didn't want to during the lesson or or whatever the case may be. Um, as you can see, you also have different settings here to help um, teachers, you know, turn the microphones on and off, etc. And this is an example, my favorite example, I think, of a live collaboration on two devices that were right next to each other, but could have been a thousand miles apart. That's how seamless collaboration is and explain everything. Um, moving on to recording real quick. So I know this is a lot of information. I do, um, yeah, encourage you to check out the app after. Um, so yeah, here we have a project on heart anatomy and say I'm the teacher and I want to explain this to my students. Once again, I can add a video of myself to the canvas so they can see me explaining as I do it, which definitely makes it that much more personal and let's face it, that much cooler as well. And of course, um, what you can do is you can tap record, as I just have at the bottom, as you can see, this is recording. And here I am zooming, highlighting, doing all sorts of things on the board, talking them through whatever I'm doing. And everything that I do, every gesture, every tool that I use, these are all captured on the recording. So as you can see here, when I stop it and scroll through it, every tiny little movement that I made was registered as a part of this recording, which is pretty cool actually, because if you decided you wanted to delete something, you can delete a specific part of a recording as opposed to, you know, the whole thing, because it's not just, you know, a screencast, right? Um, as you can see, we also have three different recording modes. So if I forgot to say something at the beginning, like, I don't know what the date was or what kind of assignment this was or anything, I can switch to insert mode, record a little piece wherever I want and put it um, at the front, say for instance, of the recording as an intro and there it is. One thing I didn't like about this, uh, about this little uh, intro I recorded was that circle was kind of too big and it went right through my face. So what I decided to do was utilize that feature that I just told you about a moment ago, where you can delete specific tiny little parts of the recording. And this is the one I wanted to get rid of. So you just tap and hold and it's, uh, it's gone. So sometimes I think teachers, you know, they're a little nervous about recordings um, because they think if I make one little mistake, then the entire, you know, the entire video is, is garbage. And that's absolutely not the case and explain everything. It is highly editable. Um, and you can, that way you can recycle materials year to year 
and a lot of teachers do that. If you want to share, all you have to do is tap share and decide whether you want to create a web video link, which would be, you know, shareable via our cloud that the students could just click and watch, or whether you want to render the video on your device, say, like I tapped export right here, and I have several different options, um, several different export formats. Here, of course, I would choose video, and then the video would be rendered on my device, and I could choose to share it um, any other way using any other platform. Some teachers upload to YouTube, etc. Last but not least, I wanted to show you an example of how easy it is to create your own tailored materials and explain everything in just a few moments. I'm not going to attempt to keep up with everything that I did here because um, it's kind of a lot. But as you can see, what I've chosen to do is extract an illustration from a specific PDF. I didn't want the whole page. Actually, I didn't want all of the pages, so I selected one and then I didn't want the whole page. So I just, you know, selected, cut out the one illustration I did want, you know, and uh, resized it, moved it around. And then I decided to add extra materials here. I think this lesson was supposed to be, oh yes, about um, global winds. Here I am using some clip art from my own personal clip art library. And here I am creating a simple yet eye-catching animation for my students. Explain Everything does make it super easy to combine, as I said, multiple media formats um, to create something from scratch in just a couple of minutes. That definitely is better than one of those Xeroxed copies that your students are going to lose um, as soon as they get home. So here I have um, clip art, I have an illustration from a PDF, and I have an animation that I whipped up over the course of just a couple of moments. And if I wanted to get really fancy, I could pull up a 3D object, right, and put it on the canvas as well. Um, here I would tap share and then export this as a project. And then what my students could do is open this project in their explain everything on their device, and then they could um, continue to edit it, um, fill it out, add their own content to the canvas, etc. So I'm aware that was a mouthful, but I hope that I was able to show you the main functionalities of Explain Everything in such a short time. Um, the next thing I wanted to do uh, real quick is show you um, a short piece of footage that we have from an ADS in Germany called Villa Weversbusch and show you how Felix, the principal of the school, uses all of the different functionalities and possibilities Explain Everything um, gives to create truly engaging and, as I've mentioned before, relevant content for his students. I'm going to let him do the talking. Um, there are subtitles here, so it should yeah, be. Hello, my name is Felix Kolewe. I work here in the Villa Wiversbusch. Was für mich als Lehrer wichtig ist, ist, dass ich die Materialien sehr schnell erstellen kann. Ich möchte nicht viel Zeit mit Aufbau und dergleichen verbringen, sondern wenn ich in den Unterricht gehe, muss alles bereit sein für mich. Kubilei hat nämlich ähm, fünf Achtel der Flasche getrunken. Also für mich ist es wichtig, dass es wirklich einfach ist, die Materialien zu erstellen als Lehrer, dass ich zum einen auf vorgefertigte Materialien zurückgreifen kann, aber wenn ich selbst etwas produzieren möchte, das soll nicht schwer sein, das soll wirklich einfach gehen und ich möchte keinen großen Aufwand verschwenden mit Vorbereitungen im Klassenraum. Wenn ich reingehe, ist es wichtig, dass es funktioniert. Und die Materialien, die ich mache, sollen so geschaffen sein, dass sie die Schüler mitnehmen. Die, sollen die, sollen, die Schüler müssen einen Bezug zu dem haben, was sie da in dem Unterricht sehen. Das ist, wichtig, damit sie sich auch damit identifizieren können. Wenn ich denen jetzt nur sage, ihr macht jetzt Nummer 5 auf Seite 83, dazu haben die gar keinen Bezug. Deswegen versuche ich, dass sie sich auch selbst mit in den Aufgaben sehen und dass sie dann auch ein Gefühl dafür kriegen, was das, wie das sie selbst betrifft und ihre Lebenswelt. Die Schüler müssen einen, einen emotionalen Zusammenhang zu den Aufgaben finden, weil im Endeffekt können sie nicht viel damit anfangen, irgendeine Geschichte, die irgendwo erfunden ist in dem Buch, damit 
das trifft sie nicht. Was wir versuchen ist, dass sie wirklich einen emotionalen ähm, Zugang zu den ähm, Schulmaterialien bzw. zu den Themen finden. Das ähm, sehen wir als besonders wichtig an. Digitale Medien machen das Lernen auch unabhängig vom Lernort. Schüler können überall lernen, es ist nicht nur ähm, auf den Klassenraum beschränkt, sondern die können draußen lernen, die können an einem anderen Ort lernen und so ist heutzutage auch das Arbeiten. Wie viele Leute sind mittlerweile im Homeoffice, das sich nicht nur jetzt seit Corona geändert hat, aber ähm, viele Mitarbeiter arbeiten jetzt ähm, in der Firma von einem Strand in Thailand. Und der Schüler, der wird in den Klassenraum gezwungen. Das, ähm 30 ist natürlich mehr als 24. So, I hope you enjoyed that as much as we did. We always um, love traveling, even to different countries, to record these, the different use cases, all of the creative ways that teachers and students use, um, explain everything in the classroom on iPad. And um, the next thing I wanted to talk to you about, just real quick, because unfortunately we don't have another you know, 10 minutes to watch another video like that, is this um, case study that we recently did with Jamf. Um, this is a case study on RGS Worcester, which is a grammar school in England. And I mean, I would be absolutely remiss to not mention just how much teachers can benefit from using our software with Jamf. So it's no coincidence that the title of this slide is it just works because those are the exact words that we've heard from like so many teachers at this point when it comes to how easy using Jamf makes teaching with software like ours. So from, you know, locking students into an app for the duration of a lesson to just making sure that every iPad is ready to go on the first day of school. Jamf takes care of all of this from beginning to end and um, yeah, better together. What else can I say? Um, last but not least, I just wanted to touch on a few things that we have and explain everything that are new and that we are super proud of, proud of and excited about. So the first one is this all new Explain Everything Mac OS app. And, you know, it's the full-fledged version of Explain Everything. So it's a huge step towards achieving a seamless user experience, which, of course, is our goal. Um, and it also, you know, opens up a lot of new possibilities, especially for teachers, um, but just generally for teachers and students in any scenario, again, remotely or in the classroom. And we are also fully integrated with SharePlay, meaning that you can work collaboratively on a whiteboard with others in real time on a call. Um, again, something that we were super excited about and proud of, and I believe that that came out last year. So what this means is that you can access your Explain Everything projects pretty much from any device, you know, any device out there, and edit your projects in real time with your students um, or your colleagues. And that brings me to the end of this presentation. I hope it was interesting for you. I'd be thrilled to continue this conversation and answer any questions you might have. Um, my email address is right here on the screen right now. So once again, thank you so much for your attention. And um, yeah, I hope we have the chance to continue this conversation. Take care, everyone.